Hey guys, it's Reenactment Day here, and I'm just kind of here, my normal background with my flag. And in this video, I'm going. This is going to be part one of a probably five to ten part series of uh, reenacting 101. Like what you need. In this video, I'm going to be going over the websites where to get your items and pretty much like a little bit how to navigate them. So this whole series. Next step, next episode of this is going to be like covering the basic M37 uniform with a, with probably the M41 field jacket. Next step, then the episode after that would be like footwear or headwear or something like that. And so on and so forth for about five to ten episodes. Uh, pretty much see how long it takes. So that is going to be this whole series. And I hope you enjoy and let us get to the uh, websites. All right, now we move on to the part of the video where I explain some good um, World War II websites to get your gear from and how to navigate them. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I just think they're the good companies to get the gear from. So to start off, we have at the front. Now, really, how you, how you search up this website is you just type in at the front and it should be the first uh, link that comes up. So, as you can see, you got a few sections. You got new items right here, paratrooper stuff, field jackets. Scroll down, you can see you got shop German, shop US. Right here is just just their American-made items, and you can sign in to. You can make an account. It's free, and this is just so you can like have a wish list and like save items that you want to get eventually. Also, you can keep track on your orders a lot better, so I recommend doing that if you plan on ordering a lot off here. So, every now and then they have a deal of the day, lasts for at least 24 hours. It could be a jacket, could be suspenders, could be something. That's how I actually got my German helmet, it went on sale. You can see they got sale, and they got the blog, links. These links are just like vendors of World War II and stuff like that, research. Go back a little bit. So we are going to focus on US items, of course. So as you can see, everything is very nicely organized into this website. Uh, they got packages. Let's look at this real quick. If you click on this, you got complete impressions that you can buy. Now, this is you uh, with the good impression is you want to switch out the HBTs to the wool uniforms, jackets, uh, M41 jacket, that's pretty standard. You can add a haversack, but it does add money. So like if I, I just added the wool uniform, if you update the price, it uh, bumps it up a little bit. Due to supply chain issues and like um, just getting stuff from their manufacturers, prices have gone up, hopefully only temporarily, but... Yeah. Anyway, this is a pretty good website, and this is actually a really good website. This is where I get most of my stuff. See, they got paratrooper packages, just uh, HPT packages, Navy packages, field gear packages, and stuff like that. Now, when we go back, you can see headwear. I'm not going to go through every one, but I'm going to go through just a couple main ones. Helmets, you can see you got... Reprodu a reproduction M1 helmet. They have a really good repro M1 helmet. Garrison caps, paratrooper helmets, netting, uh, spare parts for the helmet. They got tanker helmets, HBT caps, repro liners, repro par para liners, USMC helmet cover, and stuff like that. They also restore uh, World War II helmet liners and just helmet shells. And you see World War II fixed bail M1 helmet right there. And just various hats and things that you need to get. So if you're also restoring a liner, they do sell the liner web kit. Now if we go to clothing, you can see like everything's very organized in this website. If you go to jackets and clothes, you got the M41 jacket, navy jacket, winter tanker jackets. You can see all the jackets right here. The M43 field uniform package, the M43 paratrooper uniform package. Hoods, navy jackets, stuff like that. 
Now, let's see. Go to trousers. You can see you got the wool trousers right here. This is the main stuff, main thing you would want to get if you're doing a European theater, African, uh, African war. The war in Africa. But, um... The U.S. did actually wear wool into the African deserts, which probably wasn't the best, but that's just what we had. And you can see we got belts, ties, uh, paratrooper, paratrooper pockets. Damn it! All right, and if you go to belts, you can see we have. Just belts, ties, suspenders, stuff like that. Now if you go so go to they got khaki uniforms, marine uniforms, go into shirts and sweaters, you can see this is where you'd find the flannel shirts, the wool shirts, khaki shirts, the sweater, navy shirts, officer shirts, stuff like that. Uh tank tops and t shirts. Pretty much everything here. USMC t shirt. You wore to uh, just a white t-shirt, a tank top, and underwear. Or historically accurate underwear. And pretty much that's that. In this section, you can see everything's pretty well organized. You can go explore it yourself. It's fun. Moving on to field gear. You can see they got ammo pouches, which are just the Thompson pistol, carbine, everything like that. Also shotgun pouches. You got assault vests, which were seen on D-Day. Right here, you see the... They also had an OD one, but probably out of stock. And these ones are largely out of stock too, because they're so popular. And again, supply chain issues, which is very difficult. Bayonets and knives, they got, you know, just bayonets and knives, everything normal. Canteens, mess kits, um, as you can see, the M1910 canteen is recalled because chunks of this soldering right here would break off, could break off into the water. But if you scroll down to the bottom, you see there's demilled canteens. The returned canteens kind of just shot with an MG42. Anyway. So they got that, and you can see they got a World War One meat camp pouch, which is sadly always out of stock. I was gonna get this with for my World War One haversack, but it's out of stock. So and they've been out of stock for a while, but hopefully those should come back in stock soon. You see cartridge belts, pistol belts, uh, pretty much the same thing. The JQMD items. As you can see, some items are just made in USA, made in USA, JQMD. These are their foreign-made ones, but they're made to their standards, so they're very... Um, they're still... They're almost as good as quality as the US-made one, but a lot cheaper, probably like half the price. But these have worked fine for me, and they look very nice. You got bar belts. You got an OD um, pistol belt. They got cartridge belt extenders. Let's see. You can go to shovels and stuff, you know, just shovels, axes, uh, police baton, stuff like that, wire cutter pouches. You go to, uh, there's field gear packages, there's holsters, medic first aid items, show you that real quick, just first aid pouches. They do have an, uh, model 1910 first aid pouch. They got uh, medic field gear and original dressing. There is some original World War II items on here that they sell. Actually, a lot of World War II items. They got a lot of uh, original stuff that was unissued, so that's just something to look out for on the website, too. You go to packs and bags. You got the Musette bag, the Model 1928 haversack, JQMD haversack, which is the one I have, only had... Uh, one issue with the uh, eyelets, they kind of tore out, but I assume that would happen to this one too. Uh, let's see. Musette bag, 
JQMD, uh, D-Day pouches. For some reason, in the packs and bags, the gas brassard is here, this little arm band thing. That is here, which I'm surprised about that because this is that's not a pack and bag, but if you're looking for it, that's where you find it. Go back. You can see that's pretty much all the gear. Combat suspenders, map cases, everything pretty cool. You got insignia, which is like ranks and pout and like uh, divisional patches. You got a footwear. They got some footwear. They're again supply chain issues and manufacturing issues. Some of these shoes are out of stock, and they they do have little disclaimers on them right here. Sometimes on some of these boots they do. There we go. Which there will be no new boots until 2023 at the soonest. So that is sad. But what you gonna do? They're trying their best to get the stuff back in, but with this whole world right now, it's a bit crazy. You got the M38 leggings, USMC leggings. They would have JQMD leggings, but they are out of stock. You got snow, uh, snow seal. Uh, shoe polish, uh, laces, dye kits, needs foot oil, uh, shoelaces, you can see they got just original shoelaces, a lot of them, and pretty much stuff like that. They sell long service shoelaces because, um, it says right here, use a, yeah, if you want to read that. So, they also sell some fab fabric and hardware, buttons, they just sell German food gray wool, I don't know if this is in stock, but uh, they sell threads, buttons, replacement parts if you need them. Go back. We will go to personal items real quick, just take a quick look through there. You got a sewing kit, and that comes with everything in there. Uh, gloves, t-shirts standard things a p38 can opener which you can see is a lovely picture but yeah you know, it's a can opener not too fancy with that um i think that is it that i'm going to cover for this one right here so they do have they do have uh usually one or two original items in here but they don't seem to have any right now but there are original items just scattered around here that you can use like insignia they have couple well they do have a lot of original unissued um ranks that's cool we got paratrooper items too if you're doing a paratrooper d-day items so everything is very nicely organized and if you want you can take a look into the german section see the stuff that's around so that's very cool and now we will move on to the what to what price glory when you search up what price glory it actually comes up with a movie but it should be this first link right here which is uh the military site so you can see they got a lot of items if you go over here products you got american military australian british canadian um some french stuff like that so we are going to stick with the american stuff if you can see, uh, they just had a huge overhaul to their website, so that's cool. We got the fancy triple buckle boots right here. But if we go in here, you can see there's a lot of First World War and pre items, like the thing says 1978 to 1938. They got boots, pretty good footwear. footwear. The boots that I have gotten from them are very nice, and it's pretty. And you can see they just got a lot of stuff. These are sadly mostly out of stock. They only has a, have a size thirteen, but snowshoes. So they do sell a lot of cool boots and stuff. Moving on, you got combat uniforms, Mackinac. Uh, they have a lot of items that are like 
you wouldn't find on any other websites and you also makes you wonder who actually buys stuff like that like um i don't i'll point one out when i show it to you but you can see websites they got boots combat uniforms enlisted uniforms which are like um denim stuff eto jackets you can see right there uh, cotton trousers, stuff like that. Let me just go to page three. They have khaki uniforms. They actually sell new production overcoats, uh, trousers, hat cords, belts, stuff like that. And the they also sell some defective items for cheaper. But as that now. It's pretty just a simple website to navigate. You just kind of look where you need to go. They also have a search bar up here if needed. But they do sell a lot of stuff. So this is where you could buy like whack items, World War One items, World War Two miscellaneous stuff, which is actually World War One in disguise. Uh, they got officer suit cases. They have repro handy talkies that sometimes they can actually work and pretty much it working is they have a walkie-talkie in there but something cool to have you got patent leather holsters so stuff is just around on this website not going to spend too much time here because it this video would be way too long if i did if we can just take a quick look in world war one let's see a lot of a lot of items so they do have repro just jackets but they are also kind of out of stock uh, other than a size 52 i think something around that so can't really get that but very nice website and they do sell good production stuff i've gotten a lot of my world war one stuff from here couple World War II items. Their M43 field jacket is very nice. I like that one a lot. And you can see they just sell insignia and stuff like that. And if you want, you got British stuff where you can buy some World War I stuff for British as well. So that's very cool. And now the last website that we are going to be looking at is uh, now, to get something, what you want to do is you want to click let's buy something and it brings you to this nice page where everything's sorted out. And they do sell canvas tents, closeouts, rigger shop, specialty items, Navy, Marines, Army Air, Army Air Forces, and just Army. And you can see they got dress uniforms. Uh, some, some things are out of stock still, like... They only have the Ike jackets right now instead of the Surge jackets. Headwear, they just got garrison caps. And go to the next page. They got the campaign hats. And they would have the visor hats too, I'm pretty sure. You got flannel and wool shirts. Pretty much right through there. And pants, you can see, just wool pants. They are very expensive, but I heard they are the best quality stuff, but I usually just stick with it at the front. But I've heard these are the best quality items you can get. But khaki uniforms, you can see, everything's pretty standard. You can scroll through here, look through here. Footwear, they do have some shoes, leggings, um, stuff like that. They, they do have cushion sole socks. They got undergarments. Again, uh, like women's uniform for like whack and stuff. Edged weapons, which are just like machete sheaths. And sometimes they would have bayonets, but also the bayonet scabbard for World War One. Equipment. You can just see. They got some field gear. They got some canteens. They got some good mix of items. So... Go explore that if you want to as well. And this is pretty much 
looking through websites and how to navigate them. So that these are some websites that you would want to get some stuff from. I usually get a lot of stuff from at the front. So that is pretty much that for now. All right, that is going to be it for episode one of GI Reenacting 101. I hope you found I hope you found it informational. I hope you found it useful, and be on the lookout for part two. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys later.